Have you ever wondered why zebras have stripes? As we venture into the heart of the African savanna, this question becomes all the more intriguing. The striking black and white pattern adorning zebras is undeniably unique, and it has sparked numerous theories among scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Some propose that the stripes serve as a form of camouflage, a visual illusion to baffle predators and blend into the tall grasses. Others suggest a more physiological role, that the alternating bands of color might help regulate the zebra's body temperature in the scorching African heat. And then, there are those who believe in the social significance of these stripes, asserting they are unique to each zebra, much like our fingerprints, aiding in their identification amongst the herd. No matter the reason, these stripes paint an enchanting picture of the African savanna's rich biodiversity. Did you know that zebras live in tight-knit family groups called herds? The social dynamics within these groups are as complex and intricate as the patterns on each zebra's coat. At the helm of each herd is the stallion, the dominant male zebra. He is the protector, the guardian of his family. His role is to ensure the safety of the mares and their foals, keeping a vigilant eye out for any lurking predators. He is the first line of defense, ready to put himself between danger and his family at a moment's notice. The mares, the female zebras, form the core of the herd. They are the life givers, the nurturers. Their bond with their offspring is a heartwarming spectacle. A mare will stay close to her foal, teaching it how to navigate the vast savanna, showing it where to find water and the best grazing spots, and instilling in it the instinct to stick with the herd. Foals, the youngest members of the herd, bring a sense of vibrancy and renewal. Their playful antics are a joy to watch. But don't be fooled by their innocent charm. Even at this tender age, they are learning vital survival skills. They learn quickly how to run from predators, how to blend into the herd for safety, and how to recognize the distinctive call of their mother amidst the cacophony of the savanna. This tightly woven social fabric is not just for companionship. It also serves a crucial survival purpose. When a predator attacks, the zebras bunch together, their stripes merging into a dizzying pattern that confuses the attacker. The stallion, with his powerful kicks, takes on the predator, while the mares and foals make their escape. As they journey through the African savanna, each zebra, from the mighty stallion to the playful foal, plays a unique role in the survival of the herd. Their lives are a testament to the power of unity, of community, of standing together in the face of adversity. In the African savanna, strength lies in unity, and for zebras, the herd is their fortress. Zebras may not speak our language, but they have a sophisticated system of communication of their own. This is our entry point into the vibrant world of zebra communication. Much like humans, zebras rely on a complex mix of signals to express themselves and interact with their surrounding environment. Let's begin with body language, a universal form of communication that transcends the barriers of spoken language. Zebras use a variety of physical cues to convey an array of emotions and intentions. For instance, a zebra might flatten its ears against its head to signal aggression, or stand tall and stiff to display dominance. Then there's the symphony of vocalizations, each sound carrying a unique message. Zebras are known for their distinctive, high-pitched barking calls, which serve as alarms to warn the herd of potential danger. They also use a wide range of softer sounds, such as snorts and grunts, for more intimate communication within their close-knit social groups. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of zebra communication lies in their iconic stripes. You see, each zebra's stripe pattern is as unique as a human fingerprint. This means that zebras can, in a way, recognize each other by their unique stripe patterns, much like we recognize faces. Their stripes also serve as a dynamic visual signal, with the black and white contrast creating an optical illusion that can confuse predators and protect the herd. So you see, zebras have developed an intricate language of their own, a blend of physical, vocal, and visual signals that allow them to thrive in the challenging environment of the African savanna. They communicate to establish social order, to warn each other of danger, and to express a range of emotions, from aggression to affection. In the vast expanses of the savanna, communication is not just about interaction, it's a matter of survival. It's a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of these remarkable creatures, and a crucial part of the captivating tapestry that is the life of the African zebra. Life in the savanna is a constant game of cat and mouse, with zebras often finding themselves the target. The African savanna, 
a vast expanse of untamed wilderness, is a stage for the age-old drama of survival. Among the cast are the zebras, their striking black and white stripes a testament to their resilience in this harsh landscape. But the savanna is also home to formidable predators, lions and hyenas, who see in zebras not beauty, but prey. The king of the jungle, the lion, with its powerful build and razor-sharp claws, is a formidable adversary. Hyenas, often underestimated, are cunning hunters, known for their relentless pursuit and remarkable endurance. Against these odds, how does the zebra survive? The answer lies in their speed, agility, and the strength of their herd. Zebras are fleet-footed creatures, capable of reaching speeds up to 40 miles per hour. Their agility and nimbleness aid them in making sharp turns to evade predators, often leaving their pursuers in a cloud of dust. But it's not just about the individual. Zebras move in herds, a collective defense against predators. A group of zebras is a confusing maze of stripes, making it difficult for predators to single out an individual. This herd mentality, coupled with their vigilance, often tips the scale in favor of the zebra. However, it's not always about outrunning the predator. Sometimes it's about outsmarting them. Zebras have been observed to kick and bite when cornered, putting up a spirited fight. Their strong hind legs can deliver a powerful kick, enough to deter a lion or fracture a hyena's jaw. These survival strategies are not foolproof, but they give the zebras a fighting chance, tipping the balance ever so slightly in their favor. It's a delicate dance of survival, a testament to the zebra's indomitable spirit and the harsh realities of life on the savanna. In the African savanna, every day is a testament to the zebra's resilience and will to survive. Their story is one of survival against the odds, a dance of life and death played out against the backdrop of the African savanna. Zebras are not just survivors, they are masters of adaptation. This statement is more than just a testament to their tenacity. It's a tribute to their remarkable ability to thrive in one of the planet's most challenging environments, the African savanna. Imagine a landscape where water is scarce, where the relentless sun beats down, and where each day is a quest for survival. This is the world of the zebra, a world where the harsh realities of life have shaped and molded these creatures into resilient survivors. One of the most striking examples of their adaptability is their ability to find water during droughts. Zebras have an uncanny knack for locating water sources, even when they're hidden beneath the surface of the parched earth. This remarkable skill is made possible by their acute sense of smell, which can detect the faintest hint of moisture. But zebras don't just adapt to their environment, they also shape it. During periods of drought, they'll often dig wells, using their strong hooves and noses. These wells not only provide a vital source of water for the zebras themselves, but also benefit other wildlife, contributing to the overall health and balance of the savanna ecosystem. Migration is another key component of the zebra's adaptive strategy. When the dry season hits and food becomes scarce, zebras don't simply endure, they move. They embark on epic journeys in search of greener pastures, traversing hundreds of miles of rugged terrain. These migrations are a testament to their incredible endurance and their instinctive understanding of the rhythms of the savanna. The zebra's story is not one of struggle but of resilience. It's a story that underscores the power of adaptation, of bending but not breaking in the face of adversity. Zebras teach us that survival is not just about enduring the hard times, but about embracing change, adapting, and thriving, no matter the circumstances. The zebra's story is one of resilience, showing us the power of adaptation in the face of adversity. The African savanna is more than just a backdrop. It's the canvas upon which the zebra's life is painted. As a tapestry of life, the savanna unfolds a captivating narrative of the zebra's existence. From the intricate black and white patterns of their coats that ripple against the golden grasslands to their complex social structures that echo the rhythm of the wild, the zebra's story is as multifaceted as the savanna itself. Their unique communication systems, a language of stripes, whispers in the wind, speaking volumes about their relationships, survival strategies, and resilience. The savanna, in its turn, offers a stage for this spectacle, a platform for the dance of survival against predators, the testament to the zebra's endurance and adaptation. The symbiotic relationship between the zebra and its savanna home is a testament to the intricate balance of nature. The African savanna and its zebras, a mesmerizing ballet of survival, resilience, and beauty painted in black and white,